So as you're thinking through what's the best tripwire for your particular offer, um, I want you to think that there's a good chance that the ideal tripwire already exists in your business. You're already doing it. Now, in the previous uh, video, we talked about the different tripwire types. You might have heard me use the word splinter, how we would splinter off uh, you know, a, a particular service that somebody was already doing, or, you know, how we take this piece and we'd splinter that off. And this is a concept that, that we have creating these splinter offers that we've developed in around how to come up with tripwire ideas. So I want you to think about your core flagship product or service. Same one I had you think about in the very first video, your core flagship product or service. If you think about it more times than not, while, while you may be thinking about it holistically, right? It's actually made up of a number of smaller products, you know, and services, right? So if we think about, uh, you know, if, if we think about the, the, the marketing agency example that I gave you before, yeah, at the end of the day, they wanted to do this SEO work for $500, but before they did any of that, they would go and they would claim someone's listing and they would go and set up an AdWords account. They, there were all these little splinter services that they would do before they ever got started. Right? We think about a software suite, right? a software suite of tools, a CRM, right? all these tools, they're actually made up of a lot of little kind of micro services. The same could be said for a digital product, a course, right? A course is made up of a bunch of smaller lessons and modules. This is how larger flagship products and services are based. I don't, I don't care what you're doing, what type of field you're in, Something can be splintered off. And ideally, ideally, this is what we want to do because the best tripwires are splinter offers. The best tripwires are splinter offers. One, because you don't have to create anything new, but also they lead seamlessly and subtly into the core offer. I want to show you an example of how we do this at Digital Marketer. Kind of open up the kimono so you can see exactly how the splintering concept works. Now, the core offer um, at Digital Marketer, one of our core offers, one of them, of, of course, are these certifications, the one that, that uh, and these master classes, the one that you're currently uh, consuming right now. But our other kind of primary core flagship offering is Digital Marketer Lab. Okay, Digital Marketer Lab. It is our um, membership, and, and you know the, the the beauty of of Digital Marketer Lab is when you join, in addition to a number of other benefits, you also get access to our execution plan library. So this is where we take all of our checklists and templates and standard operating procedures and we put them all in one place. So whatever you want to do, if it's build a, a landing page or if it's launch a Kindle book or if it's you know launch a Facebook ad campaign, whatever you want to do, we have a standard operating procedure for it um, that we make available, that we use internally, that we make available to our members. Right? That is kind of the core flagship offering of Digital Marketer. It's called Digital Marketer Lab. Now, there's only one problem with this. We first launched it, no one wanted it. We could not sell this thing. And the reason we couldn't sell it was simple. It's because going back to what I talked about before, there was no specificity in the promise. It's when you become a member, you're gonna know how to do this and 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 this. And you're thinking, I don't know if I want or need to do all that, right? I don't know if that's what I need. I've got this specific problem. Going back to what we were talking about in the lead magnet section, we weren't uh, entering into the conversation that was going on in people's minds already. We weren't answering the questions that they were asking. We were trying to answer a lot of questions that they weren't asking, and that's why this offer wasn't particularly effective. We were coming to them and saying, hi, nice to meet you. What are you doing tomorrow night? Let's grab dinner. I'll pick you up at eight. We were being a little bit creepy, right? We were trying to offer everything. So what we instead switched to uh, was this. We said, let's take just one of these execution plans and splinter them off, right? So for example, at the time we first had this idea, this, this, this concept of, of, of Facebook promoted posts, which is not even called promoted posts anymore, but it's called boosting a post. But back then this idea of Facebook promoted posts was brand new. It was brand new and there was a lot of interest and people were asking a lot of questions about it. The conversation in the industry was around promoted posts. So we said, aha, let's splinter out this execution plan. Let's take it, let's splinter it out because this is the conversation that people are having. Now, Digital Marketer Lab is $386 a year, $386. We charged just $7 for this execution plan. 
It was a great deal. We would ordinarily, if we were selling this by itself, we would never charge less than $47. So it was a great deal, but again, we wanted to lower that barrier to entry. We wanted to deliver value in advance by offering a, an outstanding value with no strings attached, okay? But the splintering didn't stop there. We also, inside this particular execution plan, realized that you know we've got a lot of examples. So what we should do is we should create a lead magnet. And this is one that you've already seen, the ultimate social media swipe file. So we splintered from our core offer a tripwire, and then we splintered from our tripwire a lead magnet. So here's what happened. Now, instead of driving people to this offer and saying, you know, hey, I'm so glad you're here. Let's go get dinner and maybe get married later on. We said, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Ryan. You know, um, I, I, I've got something really cool. You could totally have it for free. I'd love to, I'd love to get your, you know, your, your name and, and, and number so I can call you and send it to you, right? We said, can I get your number? And that was the ultimate social media swipe file. That was our lead magnet, right? Then we said, hey, you know, if you're interested in, in social media and really improving uh, the effectiveness of your social media campaigns, the engagement around it, you, you should know that we have this execution plan on how to increase engagement with Facebook promoted post. It's only $7. In other words, well, nice to meet you. We should get coffee sometime. And then after they invested in this and after we delivered that, we said, um, you know, what, what's really great about this is it's actually just one part of over 30 execution plans that we have in our library. So you now know how to do one aspect of digital marketing. If you want to have an entire library so you can do all aspects of digital marketing, you should really go and check that out. In other words, wow, it really was nice. I enjoyed our conversation here over coffee today. We should go get dinner sometime, right? That's the progression. When we did this, when we acted like ordinary human beings in, our, in how we approached the relationship, the conversion rates skyrocketed. It was unbelievably effective, and, and it's the reason that Digital Marketer Lab is such an effective um, product today. Uh, and it's all because of this concept of splintering, all right? the splintering concept. Now, the example that I showed you before of the guitar picks, that is a type of a splinter offer. So you think about a guitar, what is a splinter off of a guitar? What's something that if you play the guitar, you're gonna have, you're gonna use, well, guitar picks. I also mentioned guitar strings, right? There was the example that I gave you of the candle wicks then going to sell candle supplies, right? Candle wicks are a splinter. They're a component that can be chunked out, splintered off of the primary core offer. Even in the software business, splintering happens. This is the landing page for Shopify. Shopify is an e-commerce store builder, right? It's a great e-commerce uh, store builder. Unfortunately, the idea of building an e-commerce store can be very intimidating, right? Now, one, just one of their features is that when you have a Shopify store that you can also create a Facebook store for free. So what they did in their tripwire, and this is a tripwire because they're asking you to basically take a demo, to take a trial, is instead of saying, we're Shopify, and thanks to Shopify, you could build the ultimate um, e-commerce store and you could sell all your properties and you could sell it on Facebook and you could sell it on WordPress and you could do this and this and this. Here's our complete suite of tools. They didn't do that. They splintered off a feature. They splintered off a single feature and they said, hey, how would you like to sell products directly through Facebook? Oh, you do? Great. Fill out this form to create your Facebook store for free. Now, when you got on the other side, you were told that, hey, so, you know, we're so glad you're here. You know, we're Shopify and one of our features is you can create a Facebook store, but you can also do this and this and this. So let me show you just enough how you'd go about creating your Facebook store. And then if you want to try out some of our other features, you can do that, right? But what this allowed them to do is allowed them to simplify their messaging. It allowed them to deliver a very specific offer that again was entering the conversation. Now they had a similar landing page for how to set up a WordPress page. So for this one, with this particular offer, they could go to people who are Facebook advertisers. Um, for their WordPress one, they could go to people that they knew owned blogs, WordPress blogs in particular. So it, it, it also allows for additional segmentation. But this, this type of splintering, creating these types of tripwire offers is, is what's gonna get you more customers because we're lowering the barrier to entry while simultaneously delivering a more specific and compelling message. Now that's the formula that makes it all work. Service businesses, right? We talked about, you know, physical products, digital products. What about if you're in a service-based business? Well, if you're a web designer 
as opposed to going out there and saying, hey, I'm a web designer, I'd like to redesign your entire web page. That's a commitment, right? You're gonna redesign my whole website? Wow, that sounds expensive, time consuming, and very risky for me. Don't do that. Say, hi, I'm a web designer, I'd love to design you a fresh, new, clean logo. Now, if that logo is successful and appreciated, and there's a really good chance that you can say after you've delivered the logo, hey, you know, if you love this logo, uh, I, I'd love to produce a, uh, a brand new web page for you and, and website design that will match your killer new branding. See how it works? Coffee, dinner. How about a dentist that sells teeth whitening, right? If you're a dentist and you want more cosmetic patients, you want to do more Invisalign or something like that, for example, uh, sell teeth whitening. You know you've got someone in your chair who's interested in having a brighter, wider smile. So once you whiten their teeth, you can also suggest, hey, your teeth are white, but they're also real crooked. You want me to fix that? Okay. Coffee. And then going out with the other stuff for, for dinner. Roofers. How about a roofer? If you're a roofer and you're going to go fix somebody's roof, you're probably going to clean their gutter while you're up there, right? So why not get paid to get on somebody's roof and do a roof inspection? All the other roofers are like, hey, we'll do a free roof inspection. Well, I don't know if my roof is leaky. Seems okay to me. So instead, offer gutter cleaning services. Offer it at dead cost. Get paid to get on someone's roof. That's the power of a tripwire offer. Hosting services that sell website templates. If they're buying website templates, they're going to need a place to host those website templates. Coffee, dinner. And then a lawn care service that offers to fertilize off season, right? At dead cost, talking to them when nobody else is. Everybody else is saying, we'll mow your grass, we'll mow your grass. It's like, hey, you want me just to fertilize that? You know, uh, I can throw some quick fertilizer in your lawn. That's it, that's it. After you fertilize their lawn to then come to them and say, you know, hey, so hopefully, you know, you liked our services. If you did, I can tell you this fertilizer is some pretty potent stuff. You know, your grass is gonna be growing pretty quickly. If you'd like us to come out and start mowing on a regular basis, we'd love to do that. Okay, value in advance, coffee, then dinner. But the key is think about it, think about your core offer, begin with the end in mind. It's why that's where we began to begin with, why we talked about optimizing that core offer. What are all the little components that make up your core offer? What can be splintered off to form a tripwire? It's not always possible to come up with a splinter offer, but when you can, it's very effective because like I said, there's no real additional work required on your part to produce something new, but it also is going to flow seamlessly and, and, and subtly into that core offer because it's a part of it anyway. All right, so hopefully you found that concept of splintering helpful. Hopefully it kind of gets the gears turning in your brain and coming up with your own tripwire offer. So be thinking about it. How could you splinter your offer? Give it some thought and I'll see you in the next video.